We're in the 2014 Tesla, going for a test drive with the Mobileye system, which is the collision avoidance system. When you're hitting 20 miles an hour over the speed limit, it's warning you to tell you you're going too fast. It gives you alerts at the different speeds. And as we get closer to other vehicles, it'll start letting us know when we get too close. Uh, doing the countdown and how long before impact if you hit them. So. That's the countdown of how far behind the other vehicle we are. This is a pretty neat system and it also helps with Let's see, we're gonna put this thing on cruise control and see what happens. Did it do it itself? Yeah, it did it in settings. So, uh, settings, let's change this to um, headway monitoring and let's put this on 0.6 seconds. See if that. I think it is. It'll be neat, neat whenever this is, uh, gives them more in everybody's vehicles. I think yes. there's so many people that just don't pay attention to what they're doing. Well, you just have to look at how many people rear end each other but every, every single day. I see mm -hmm. people that have been texting when they shoot into the window. Right. Showing that we're one second behind the vehicle, 0.9. Now 0.6. Now that alert there, was changed through the app before it was at one second behind now it's at 0.6 uh, point, point 0.8 or 0.6 that was 0.8 okay this car is a fun little car to drive isn't it Now, should pick up the speed limit sign here and read it at 45. Now, that'll wake you up. Did, and, and it did turn the cruise control off, as you can see. It didn't stop me. I didn't use the brakes at all. It was doing it automatically. bumper alert as well so if I take my foot off and drift forward it warms me that I'm running forward you want to see that again yeah just to tell you how you're not you took your foot off the brake you're creeping forward you're gonna hit somebody the volume on that's really good it's it's loud yeah that 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 last minute collision warning that's telling you you're really gonna hit somebody is uh, definitely I, you know when we when we ride up on them I know it's gonna do what it does but I still grab the door handle <laughs> <So that. laughs> I know what it's doing I know what it's gonna do if you sat over here you wouldn't be driving the, that's the problem right right it's easier when you're driving than it is because you know I, I'm got my foot covering the brake ready to hit it if what you'll to, find on the yep. freeway you will actually be a lot closer because the speeds involved you won't be so close but you may pull closer and the, the time may you may be this distance doing 70 but that might only be 0.3 of a second because of the higher speeds now what i'm not okay. sure of is you've got the different buttons on here right it was just volume and the on offs at the top, the top. let's try both together yeah, the radar kicking up 55 
there's the officer right there. And the passport auto mutes after it's still going and going. Right. We lost the speed limit because it detected that we moved. And that was changing lanes without the turn signal on again. Alright, let's do that with the turn signal. So now it doesn't it doesn't get crazy at us this time. Let's go back now with the turn signal off. And we get the lane departure on there. So if Unless someone's driving and they're dozing. I wonder if it's that multiple yeah, alert. Yeah, no, it works really well on the right hand side of the road as well. Okay, there's let's go for 50, right? There's 15 over. Right. Which is when you hit 60. Yeah, but it's not it's meant to do 5, 10, and 15, but it's not doing there's five over now, there's 52. So it's only coming on at 15, so he probably has to set the... One more adjustment. Yeah. Five above, there you go. At speed limit, let's see if... You have it at five or ten? I have it at speed limit, so it should do it every five, ten, okay. fifteen. I think what's going to happen if you set it to five, it will be above five, so it will come on at ten. Okay. I'm thinking. Okay, let's try that again. And so now it probably lost its um, knowing what. Well, there's a speed limit sign here at 30. Okay. So we can hit that one. Well, not hit it, but. Uh, 25. It says we pass it, boom, 30, there it kicks in. Okay. And there's five over, so that's the problem. Okay. 10 over. So that's all adjustable through the app on the iPhone. Right, so that's working just fine. That's beautiful. It gives you that uh, warning up there very clearly that you're over the speed limit. I know a lot of uh, 16, 17, 18 year olds that could definitely use that. So Now on this, does it report like how many times yeah. on a trip they go over? So a parent or somebody could actually look at it. Yeah, let's go to look at this. Settings, oops, statistics, uh, speed violations, and there's the graph showing you how you, uh, how much you went over. Okay. What about the um, uh, lane rear ending and lane departure and all that? Um, collisions. There you go. You got close to one. And lane departure. Okay. So that's something that's really nice. It is. So let's not kill ourselves here. Let's check the. Let's change this headway monitoring to say 0. 0.6 seconds. Let's make it one second so we don't have to drive so close to all these vehicles. Okay. It's really simple to actually access all of that. It is. And there's 30 again. And there it's it picks me. it up really well. Yep. It's kind of scary how good it is. I'm in a lead departure. I'm very impressed with my wife. Has it? My wife has it in her Infinity, and this is actually better than her Infinities. Oh, is it? Yeah. You see the pedestrian warning? I don't know if you caught that for the cyclist. I'll have to go back and look at that, but no, I wasn't looking for Flashing it. Flashing red to tell you there's a cyclist you might hit. It yeah. also works for pedestrians. So now it's not going to know speed because we're back on the road and it needs to pick up a sign before it'll know. Right. So at this point, it's not going to pick it up. There's a speed limit sign coming up here by the... So it doesn't even matter that we're in the middle lane, it'll still pick up that speed sign. Even in the outside lane, it'll still pick it up. And there it's picked it up. It's telling me I'm over the speed limit. It's flashing here. Yep. So, damn, unless the car's moving, it's not going to... Re this car's moving, of course. Oh, it's picked up. Yep, it's picking up that we're getting close to it. You know, I, I think that there, there's good and bad to the system like this because it's it definitely takes care of you in case you're not paying attention. But my you have to know the limitations to it. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work 100% of the time. It works maybe 95% of the time, right? As all these systems do. So it's that 5% that you're relying on it is going to catch you out. But the whole point is not to rely on it; is to have it as a backup. Right. So now I'm doing, I'm over 35, but it thinks it's more important to display not the speed limit. How far behind? But how far far the car behind the car in front of you are. Which I, I understand that. And there's the 
there's the no braking. That's the regen braking came in at point at one point right. zero. So we get back. You're just you're on the right path. Okay. We just keep going. Right. We're right on the corner of Pine and the Boulevard, which. So see why it came back on your five miles over the speed limit. So it prioritized, and again, if we get behind this truck, it'll again prioritize between 1.8. Yep. <clears throat> so if there's plenty of time, it knows that speed's important, but if it's if you're getting on it, that needs to pay attention to uh, distance. <laughs> 